on the flip side, now migrants get to ride the private jet, the PJ. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. There is a battle, not only with the governor of Texas and Greg Abbott going back and forth with the Biden administration, but there is a battle between Chicago and Texas. Let me bring y'all up to speed. Now, in order for me to have this conversation, some of you guys are just here for the first time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications. Also, on top of that, make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat, right? But I need to remind y'all in order to help you to understand what's going on about this battle. Yes, it is a civil war that is happening on American soil right between the states of Chicago and Texas, and it is playing out right in front of us, and we don't even realize it. You didn't know that the real civil war that was going to happen on American soil had nothing to do with whether or not you looked at it this way or the gender war. It is happening between the states right now. But I need to bring y'all up to speed of what's happening over the last couple of weeks in order to really help you to understand it, right? So this is what happened in Chicago in retaliation of Texas busing migrants up to Chicago. Texas, Florida, uh, Arizona, they've been busing these migrants up to Chicago and in Chicago and New York and, and Denver said that, whoa, we're, we're sanctuary cities, we support this. Then they start fluttering and floundering and messing up and messing up the money. And Biden said that we not really going, um, you know what I'm saying, hold you down. So Chicago, to get back at Texas, says, if you send another bus up here, we're going to impound the bus and we're going to fine up to $750 per migrant. Let me show you. Mayor Brandon Johnson's administration has reportedly begun filing lawsuits over what it describes as rogue buses transporting migrants. The Tribune reports that 55 lawsuits have been filed since new rules were implemented last month regulating when and where buses can arrive. The mayor's office is now seeking the ability to impound buses that don't follow those rules and fine owners up to $3,000. That ordinance will be discussed at next week's city council. Now... I'm going to switch over for a second. Well, lawmakers in Chicago are holding a special city council meeting right now to discuss the city's growing migrant housing crisis. Now, this comes as the Chicago suburb of Rosemont is now banning illegal migrants, cracking down on Texas bus companies bringing asylum seekers, even threatening to slap a $750 fine per person on drivers who let a migrant off a bus. Another suburb declaring it is out of space to shelter new arrivals. Joining us now is Rosemont's mayor, Bradley Stevens. Uh, Bradley, thank you so much for being here. I'm really looking forward to this conversation. We'll get to the details of the ban in just a moment. But since August of last year, Chicago's reportedly accepted nearly 26,000 migrants who are now sheltered around Chicago, including at police stations. What's been the experience of your community as of late when it comes to this migrant crisis? Well, our community is right, to, right outside of O'Hare Field. And over the last week, we've encountered just around 20 buses of folks that are coming seeking asylum. And we're, we just are not equipped to handle that. And we don't think that it's humane in any way to have these buses come and just drop these people on sidewalks and tell them, okay, we're, we're done, we're out of here. So what our ordinance does is it finds the bus company and the driver, it allows us to arrest the driver. I believe statute even allows us to arrest the driver for putting these people's lives in danger. And it allows us to impound the buses and we're just not gonna have it. There, there needs to be a plan. And unfortunately, this starts at the top, this starts at the federal government and there just has never been a real plan. So, in the last segment of the show where I showed you what was happening at the border and that now that Greg Abbott signed a law that allows for state and city um, officers and sheriffs to stop and arrest anybody that's crossing over into this country illegally, what they found is that they've already stopped and arrested over 11,000 in one day, 10,000 in one day, and now it's looking like, as some of you said inside of the chat, 
the Million Migrant March, and they're just flooding the border. I mean, they are coming over in droves. And at the forefront of this problem and this crisis is Texas and other states that cannot and will no, no longer allow for their state to be overrun, and they don't support this. They don't support open, open borders and illegal immigration, and they shouldn't, nor should they. And so when they started busting us up, it took them a couple years, but eventually Chicago said, you know what? One more bus up in my city, and I'm going to impound it, and we finding y'all up to 750 per migrant. Yep, that's what they did. And so it took them a couple years to come up with a strategy, but Chicago said, we're not going to have it. Say something else. Say something. You drop another migrant off in my city, we're going to start impounding and, and, and sending y'all back to where y'all came from. So Chicago feeling some type of way because after they called themselves a uh, sanctuary city and they embraced it, when they found out that Biden didn't have a back and Kamala Harris wasn't going to do nothing at the border, then they wanted to about face. Okay. Well, Greg said, I got something for you. You don't want to take our buses? Okay. And let me tell you what was the real nail in the coffin for Chicago. When Brandon Johnson did this, this, uh, this press conference and he called Governor Greg Abbott raggedy, he said Gre Governor Greg Abbott is raggedy. Now, he ain't going to say nothing about P.B. Pritzker up there, or, but he definitely going to call out the people that he think that he can get some, some browning points on. Let me show you what he said, because you don't believe me. Brandon Johnson says Texas Governor Greg Abbott is making a bad situation worse with migrants continuing to arrive in Chicago as shelter space remains scarce. Our political reporter Tamon Bradley is here now with more on the mayor's reaction to how these drop offs have changed in recent weeks. They sure have been in Lord as communication has broken down between Texas and Chicago. Buses full of migrants are arriving just about every day without coordination and Mayor Johnson is not happy about it. Mm -mm, not Today, happy. Mayor Brandon Johnson on the west side celebrating the opening of a community reentry support center. This country has had an addiction on incarceration, mm -hmm. spending more on incarceration than we do to educate a family. Mm -hmm. But aren't you glad there's a new day in the city of Chicago? Yeah. Johnson's tone shifted from celebratory to frustrated when asked about the death of a migrant boy and rogue buses from Texas randomly dropping off new arrivals. They're just dropping all people anywhere. Do you understand how, how raggedy and how evil that is? <laughs> You're just going to put people on a bus and just take them somewhere and drop them off in the middle. I thought y'all was a sanctuary city. I thought that y'all was, I thought that y'all had the infrastructure, the money, the budget, and y'all was going to hold it down. That y'all was standing on business. Don't call me evil. Don't call nobody evil. This is your cross to bear. You decided that you wanted to rock out with it, and now you want to call us evil and raggedy? Middle of the night. Johnson administration officials say that migrants are no longer being dropped off at the city's landing zone and that buses are doing this in response to harsher penalties for bus owners who violate a new city ordinance. Last month, Chicago implemented new rules requiring buses arrive Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. in designated areas. But some buses have begun dropping off migrants in nearby municipalities. Mayor Johnson lashed out at Republican Governor Greg Abbott, the architect of the busing program. We have a governor, a governor, an elected official in the state of Texas that is placing families on buses without shoes, cold, wet, tired, hungry, afraid, traumatized. The governor of Texas needs to take a look in the mirror of the chaos that he is causing for this country. <laughs> Meanwhile, the John is it the governor of Texas that's causing the chaos for this country? Or is it the Biden administration, including Kamala Harris, that is standing on business and holding the country hostage and refuse to close our borders? They refuse to give our border patrol the tools necessary needed and the infrastructure and the manpower to stop the flow of migrants into this country. We got the power to wage any kind of war. We got the technology. We flying drones. We sending men to the moon. But you trying to tell me that we can't get structure and infrastructure in place 
for us to be able to stop the stem of people just walking into the country without any kind of problems whatsoever? You telling me that we sending rockets and we can control and see and go out there and hunt down Osama bin Laden, but we can't figure out how to stop people from sliding through the fence, doing the cha-cha slide. Slide again. Cha-cha real smooth now. Turn it out. To the left. Arizona now, y'all. Texas. Oklahoma City. Florida. <laughs> you telling me that we don't have the ability to stop the flow of migrants into this country, but we absolutely positively can fund multiple different wars endlessly forever until the end of time. Cha-cha real smooth now. <laughs> Turn it out. <laughs> to the left. To the right now, y'all. That's right. One hop this time. Two hops this time. <laughs> Crisscross. Clap your hands. Then Brandon Johnson said, how low can you go? Can you go to the flow? <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> he, he went to Greg Abbey and he said, you's an evil man. <laughs> oh, man. But Greg said, I got something for your black mohawk. I got something for you. Watch what we going to do. You want to stop the buses? I got something for you. This morning, the crisis at the southern border going airborne. Texas Governor Greg Abbott releasing video and announcing he's now flying migrants to Chicago. 120 arriving on the first flight because the city, quote, started obstructing and targeting our busing mission, adding until Biden steps up to secure the border, we will continue to provide overwhelmed Texas border towns with much needed relief. It comes after Abbott signed a law this week that if upheld, would authorize local police to arrest migrants suspected of crossing the border illegally. A record 12,000. Can we get a round of applause for Greg? Listen, I think that Brandon Johnson has barked up the The last thing you should have did was call this man raggedy and evil. Now he's sending PJs. Look, ladies, my Mercedes, if y'all ever want to fly on a PJ, go down to Texas and look to get, to get to Chicago. He said, look, I think that <laughs> Brandon Johnson is playing checkers. Greg Abbott is playing chess. He said, oh, so you want to find the buses now? We sending them on a PJ. He's sending them on the PJ. He's sending them all over to Chicago. Oh, you know, we going to drop them off right there on the clear port, right on the runway. At, at Chicago's airport. 600 crossing in one day alone. And there's more people in the pipeline. And I suspect Christmas will be worse than today. And New Year's will be worse than today. We're going the absolute wrong direction. ABC's Maria Villarreal is in Eagle Pass, Texas. There has been a steady flow of migrants funneling through this grassy pit. One group leaves on a bus and another one is escorted over the riverbank. Just yesterday, 4,400 apprehensions in this area alone. Many will wait 10 to 12 hours just to be processed. Some will wait up to two days. Overnight, they'll sleep on this dirt with no shelter, just the clothes on their back and those foil blankets. Processing facilities are full. Agents tell me they are overworked and overwhelmed. We need to surge immigration judges to the border. This is America. People need to get their cases heard in days, not years. And if they do not qualify for asylum, they need to be deported. And now growing concern about the economic impact of this surge in migrants. Officials recently closed some rail crossings at the border, halting freight trains that carry everything from produce to auto parts. One rail company says the shutdown is costing $200 million per day.
As the number of migrants in Chicago surpasses 26,000 and city officials crack down on bus drivers violating local laws, Texas officials are changing their tactics. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Scott Schneider. I'm Don Hasbrook. A new development for the first time. Migrants were flown here on a private plane. Casey Bad Conus is live at O'Hare where additional planes could be on the way. Casey. Oh, they coming. And city officials likely will not know until they are here. That is what happened last night. Texas officials say it is in response to the city obstructing its busing program while local leaders are calling it trafficking. <laughs> the direction of tech. <laughs> hey, Chicago said you trafficking migrants in here into this sanctuary city. Yo, I think that Greg Abbott is a Hall of Fame, all-time, Nobel Peace Prize winning governor of the United States of America. <laughs> Greg Abbott should be running for, listen, if it wasn't Trump or Vivek, I would, in, in a heartbeat, I just don't want to lose him over there in Texas. We need people like this on the forefront of the movement. We need people to be taught stopping. They flying out these bad chicks. Out here straight from the border over there to Chicago. Anybody that was looking to take a trip to Chicago, whew, you might want to pause. You might want to pause. Anybody that was looking to take a trip to Chicago this winter, you might want to get a new destination to go to because we got some bad, bad migrants coming into the Clearport. Texas Governor Greg Abbott. More than 100 migrants boarded a private plane from El Paso to O'Hare Tuesday. Abbott's office tells our sister station in Dallas that because Mayor Brandon Johnson is, quote, targeting migrant buses from Texas, we are expanding our operation to include flights to Chicago. Yo, I wish we could have him in, in Michigan. That's the only thing that would be better for me personally is to have this man as the governor of Michigan to replace, uh, what's that lady's name? I don't like her. Um, Gretchen. Gretchen Whitmer. That's the only thing better than having him as the governor of Texas is to have him as the governor of Michigan. We need him as the governor of Mich Michigan. Shout out to Greg Abbott. I think that he is one of the greatest governors of all time. Unquote. We have a governor that now openly and defiantly is saying that he's going to commit human trafficking to show Chicago and to teach us a lesson. Monday, the mayor announced harsher penalties for bus drivers who don't follow guidelines, including impounding and towing buses that try to skirt the law. Mm -hmm. They're just dropping all people anywhere. Do you understand how how raggedy and how evil that is? Yep, that was your Tinley first Park mistake. Now passing its own set of ordinances, discouraging buses from stopping there. This is about you know making the bus companies be accountable. The village has not gotten any migrant buses, but if it does, bus companies will need to fill out an application requesting permission and identify everyone on board for background checks. And assures us that you're providing them a safe place to stay. They have to know who they're taking up. Not only is that for the safety of the bus uh, and other passengers on the bus, but also the communities that they're arriving in. City officials say that buses have already tried dropping migrants off in Cicero, Schiller Park, and Rosemont. And in response to today's developments, Alderman Sigcho Lopez is calling on the federal government to launch an investigation into Abbott's practices. Nope. It's Texas versus everybody. <laughs> Texas versus everybody. And I'm on the side of Texans. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know that's a lie, Aaron. Texas versus everybody. And I'm on the side of Texas. I'm willing to give monies over to donate to Greg Abbott's fund for re-election or whatever it is that we need to do. Texas versus everybody. Shout out to Texas Governor Greg Abbott. I think he's one of the best politicians out here in these streets, man. 